Oh, fuck. Okay, guys, here we got a battle. Um, I purposely went to Smogun just because it was like 4 a.m. and I was just really, really, like, well, let's say bored. And I just really wanted to battle, and I kind of wanted to face an OU whore, just kind of just test this team out against standard OU. So, uh, standard Scarfrachi sets up rocks as predicted, and clearly he's not staying in, and I just ice shard because it's not Earthquake. And he goes to Immense, which is amazing, and it's Yach, so that's dead, so that works. And I so nearly Earthquaked here, but I just didn't because I figured, well, maybe he might think it's wasted or whatever. But he made the better move, and he switched out. And I flinch here when I try to endeavor because I got this uh, Mammo from Rick. He traded me some stuff because he's win. And I'm actually sitting at his desk narrating this right now. You might notice the quality is di different on this video, and that's why. So he's just being a cunt face, and he's flinching me with iron. <laughs> okay, so he's like flinching me like a fag. And uh, I hit him with a fire punch, and it doesn't do what I thought it would do, so that sucks. And I go to Leafeon, and I swear that this thing is so win. Like, you'll see how much win Leafeon is later. Trust me, guys. And it's got the best name ever, too, because, um, yeah, <laughs> you can probably figure that out. Anyways, uh, he finally doesn't flinch me, and I get Wish and Yawn and all that jazz. And he goes to Mence. And, oh, like, Leaf Blade, it's just so not going to kill it, even at that low, which sucks. So I get my Wish, and he clearly predicted the Protect there, but I yawn because even like it's yach so i know it's not going to do anything to me it without any boosts so now i protect because um i really want to heal my jirachi back up because this guy's an ou whore from smogon so i know he's gonna have a scissor sitting around and um but that doesn't work out so fuck like who the fuck wakes up first turn you piece of shit but Mammoth Swine could easily revenge kill. But I lost my Jirachi like way too early to some faggotry with like flinching and first turn wakes. So that's bullshit. And there's a Scizor that I knew he had. And oh, I wonder what he's going to do. Maybe Bullet Punch? I don't know, maybe? Yeah, he's going to Bullet Punch. Really racking my brain thinking about that one. So I go to Tentacruel. And um, I just want to spin away those spikes. And I see he's leftover, so I know he's going to Swords Dance. But he has leftovers, so... I'm really, really not too worried because I have enough that can take it because I have like a fetish of scissor countering because it's so necessary. So I go to Ape and this is like one of uh, Conker's mix apes, kind of like that hair cross I have. It's like sub, nasty plot and all that jazz. And Bullet Punch does not do half because of some precisely calculated EVs, which is win. And then I nasty plot here because I'm like, well, I might as well go for it. Uh, but he roars, and I did not see that coming at all, so that was a good play on him. I don't really see many phasing Vaporeons, but that's what you get. And there's the Blissey. There it is. Uh, I missed an Air Slash, but it's a Bliss, so it didn't matter at all. But this is the win part of this Togekiss. Um, it can actually beat Blissey, so you can thank uh, Chase and uh, his buddy for making this thing and sharing it with me. And um, you're about to see how awesome this Togekiss actually is. So... I've got two nasty plots against a Blissey, and he's probably like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And I'm like, well, you'll see in a second, so just chill the fuck out, man. So, he goes to Vaporeon because he wants to phase me away, but I heal Bell, so that's a win. And uh, now I'm going to go for an Air Slash, and I'm just like, you better flinch, because that's just, I deserve it right now at, at this point. And I get a flinch, so that's nice. So, uh, pretty much every, anything except the Blissey is going to get two hit KO'd by Air Slash, but the Blissey's just set up fodder for me, so he's going to let it die. And I so thought he was going to trick here, and then if I did, if he did, I could like get some Endeavor or something. That would have just been so nice. But he Iron Heads, and with double the screen grace, that's just not going to happen. So here is like the probably the most boring part in the world of this. Well, okay, I can't speak right now, but you know what I mean. This is Leafeon taking on Jirachi one-on-one -on -one with wish stalling and he's flinching the fuck out of me right now like he takes me down so little and i i just get the wish on the last turn like that's what's gonna happen but i'm draining him out of iron heads and fuck iron head has a shitload of pp uh i did not realize how much it had but this is the reason if any to use a leafy on i mean look at this it is standing up to uh hacks jirachi and it's gonna come out on top like there's no reason to to not tell you guys. So I finally don't flinch. And I finally get my wish. And I finally get a yawn off him. And he's been switching out every time. 
when I yawn him. So, uh, what do I do here? Do I do another yawn? Yeah, I do another yawn because I'm um, scouting and I'm getting stealth rock damage. And I'm just kind of figuring out what he's going to switch to. I predict him going back to the Jirachi. So I go to Ape. And even if he bullet punched, I could have lived it anyways. Or whatever the fuck. I don't even know. But whatever. It's a Scarf Rachi. It's got U-Turn, Iron Head, Stealth Rock, and Trick, I assume. So Iron Head can't do shit to me. So I just Heat Wave because... Uh, Scizor can just revenge me, and he's got a Bliss because he saw a nasty plot, so that really doesn't matter at all. So, uh, Bullet Punch is coming, and I switch to Togekiss, and he gets a fucking crit. Like, what the fuck, man? So, okay, I kind of need a Roost here, and I was really worried about, like, Super Power or Brick Break or some shit like that. But, um, he went for a Swords Dance, so that's fine. And I don't know why, but I fucking... I don't know how I did it, but I... I thought he was going to be greedy and go for another one. So I go for an air slash and I get the flinch. So, oh god, that was so nice. So that bullet punch is going to do about as much as the crit did. And that's going to take me down to about 25%. And I was just praying for a crit, air slash. Like, I, I want a crit. I really want a crit at this point. But I don't get it. And uh, I just kind of fodder the ape because I don't want Tojikus to die. Because I kind of need it to beat that bliss. Because, like... Jirachi's dead. I can't like flinch that to death or anything. And um, uh, Tentacruel is probably gonna get two eight KO by Bullet Punch. Like, how sad is that? A fucking bulky Scizor is scaring me with Bullet Punch when I have a Tentacruel and an Ape and a Jirachi. Like, that's just ridiculous. So I surf because I kind of have to. And I know the Bliss can't really do anything to me even with Thunder Wave because I have Rest here. So I just decide, oh, I'll get up my Toxic Spikes that can help stalling the Bliss out. And I know I can take any hit the Gengar has, so I just want to get damage on it because I kind of realized I really need to get damage on stuff if I want stuff to sweep. But he gets a fucking crit again, and um, he's probably like Modest Scarf, so I feel 100% safe going into Leafeon, um, further proving how win it is. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of healing up. Like this Leafeon was so the MVP of this battle, like. If you guys don't think Leafeon is worth using, you can suck a dick, really. So, uh, <laughs> I get my Wish up, which is win, and he's going to switch out because I yawned. And that Scissor is really, really low, and I just Leaf Blade here because I don't even think I've used Leaf Blade yet. And after Stealth Rocks, Leaf Blade's going to kill the Scissor, so things are starting to look really good for me. It's been a fucking long-ass time, but it's finally looking good for me. So, um, Flamethrower or T-Wave, I'm going to Tentacruel because it can take both because I have Rest. Now, I wanted to keep the Tentacruel alive because, I, as you can see, I've been foddering shit left and right here and it's been so necessary because, like, I don't know, I can't afford to switch too much into this fucking hoary shit. And I thought he might Seismic Toss there and I wanted to keep the Tentacruel alive. If not, I would have Rested. But a new Togekiss can take either. And that rapid spin was, like, so necessary, as you can see. So I get a Roost, and he knows there's, like, no point in T-waving me because I have Heal Belt, which technically isn't true, but that's the kind of mind games you get to play with shit like this. So um, now I predict he's going to go to Gengar, predicting a nasty plot. So I just Air Slash, and as long as this hits, which it does, the game is mine because now I can just set up on the Blissey. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Uh, I might go smoke on some more just to do shit like this because it was pretty fun. Um, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Now how the fuck do I stop it?